to my channel so today i'll be showing you guys how to put in uh this how to make a color two methods of making a color and then one will be with without the color stand and one will be with the color stand so basically the first thing you're going to do is let's say by now you finish joining your shirt shoulder to shoulder and then you've also gone ahead and done the uh, folds for the button the placket for the button so now you're left with the opening so all you have to do is to go now and measure around the opening let's measure around the opening that you have here right so whatever you got after measuring that what you do is so you get your tracing paper and then you measure out like maybe let's say around depending on what you want to use if you want you can make your color stand one inch and then the top part 1.5 uh, so but what i'm going to do here is i'm going to make my color stand like one inch and then the top part is going to be two inches so in total i'll be using like three inches so i'm going to mark a line of three inches here so guys i came up here by three inches the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to mark my color stand i'm going to use one inch for it so i'm going to mark one inch here and then i'm going to mark it out on this line i marked for my color stand all you have to do now is to you remember that measurement that you got from around the, the neckline so let's say mine is 12 so i'm going to divide it by two so so guys um all i did here is to mark three inches right three inches from this point to this point so one inch is going to be my color stand two inches is going to be the main uh, body of the color so on this line of my color stand all i have to do is to transfer that measurement that i got before from around the, sh um, the neckline so that's going to be let's say it's 12 so i'm going to divide it by two so that's going to be six and i have six here so i'm going to transfer six here and then i'm going to add half an inch of seam allowance to to it so that's it i'm going to just draw it down and then the next thing i'm going to do is on this same line i'm going to on this same line i'm going to come down by half an inch here and then go in by one inch on inside so i'm going to go in one inch from this point here this line of my seam allowance in i'm going to go in by one inch here and then i'm going to connect this this half an inch i came down here to this one inch. so just give it a curve all the way so let me just give it a call. So this is basically it. If you're trying to make a color stand, just the bishop color, you can cut this out and this is your bishop color here. All you have to do now is trace it out on a paper and add your seam allowance for the top. Join me to the dress and that is it. If you're doing just this, the next thing you're going to do now is for the color, I'm going to take up this one inch that I marked here. I'm going to transfer it up to this line, you see? I'm going to put it here. So that same one inch is now here, but from here, I'm going to make sure that I have about two inches from this point. So that's on this line, right? And then on this line here, on this, my two inches, which is at the end of this, I'm going to come up by maybe half an inch here, right? I'm, and I'm going to connect this half an inch. Uh, sorry. Let's say this is my half an inch. I think that's more than half an inch. So on this same line of my half an inch, I'm going to just connect it here. So you're going to draw a line up there. So this is basically it. And then you're going to just blend this one in up to this one. So this is basically your color and that's your color stand. So you're just going to cut it out. So let me go right again. Mark your line depending on what you want to use. I want to use two inches for my main color, one inch for my color stand. The next thing you're going to do is transfer your measurement that you got from your neckline around your neck. I got six. I added half an inch to it so that I can be able to close up the end. Come down here by half an inch. Come in from that half an inch, one inch in. And then you're going to mark, like connect the two, give it a curve. After giving it a curve, that same one inch you drew here, connect it here. And then from this line, make two inches going out, right? Mark two inches going out. When you mark the two inches going out, connect it to one inch up here and uh, no half an inch up here and then blend it in on this line and then take this one down to this one inch here so that's basically it now i'm going to just cut this out so guys this is my color stand this is my color if i open it up this is what it looks like so if i open it up this is it so basically your color is just supposed to fit into this stand here you see 
let me open it up it's supposed to fit into this like leaving one inch one inch here if if you have the uh the stay you're supposed to draw um draw this out using the the stay right the the white sticky stuff you're supposed to draw this on it so that when you're done you iron it into your fabric that you're using so basically what i'm going to do is i'm going to take this here trace it out on my fabric but i'm going to leave about on my fabric i'm going to have half an inch uh, on it and then half an inch on the side half an inch at the bottom so that's going to be my seam allowance for joining it so guys this is it here um i've gone ahead and traced it out so the next thing i'm going to do now is if you have the because this is just a piece of paper i'm trying to show you guys um piece of fabric i'm not using this for anything so what you have to do at this point is iron in your stay on the wrong side right you're, you're going to iron in your stay here and then also iron it here so you see each of them has two pieces this has two pieces here this one one two for the color one two for the color stand so what i have to do now is so at this point i will assume that you've gone ahead and iron in your stay what you will do now is to go ahead and make a stitch all the way from you're going to make a stitch the same half an inch that you left in here so let me mark it here so that same half an inch that you left all the way around you're going to make a stitch all the way all the way here close up all these sides close up all these sides right and then when you're done you're going to flip it inside out cut out the excess excess on this end here so that you release the tension notch it a little and then you you, you fold it inside out and then so guys i've made a stitch all the way so what i'm going to do now is to flip it this way bring out the pointed ends and then iron it so guys i've gone ahead and ironed this so you see what it looks like now so the next thing i'm going to do is you see my color stand is still separate right this is the way it came with this hair you see the curve is still on this side so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to take the curve and place it the other way you see i'm going to place the curve this way and you see i notch the center just fold it into two so that you can find the center so that you can be able to place this center to the center of your of your color so that's why i notch the color to sorry the color stand too so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to place one on top and then take the second one place it below so you see take this here put it here so you see my notch is here on this here is also on the main color you see one is below facing this way right and then i place it at the center here then take the second one place it on top you see all you have to do now is to make sure you put it properly and then you're going to pin it down after pinning it down the next thing i'm going to do is just sew all the way from this end here and then sew on top all the way half an inch on this end also and then sew on top hold this thing down hold it down all the way right sew it down this way and then curve it this way right when i'm done i'm going to just flip it out you see so i'm going to go ahead and make my stitch you guys i've made my stitch so now i'm going to flip it out you see so if i flip it out now i'm going to just go ahead and iron it this is the color here this is the stand so at this point all you have to do is just go ahead and attach it to the neck of your shirt so that's basically it for this so the second one i was talking about all i do is just cut out a rectangular fabric right all i have to do is just put it in just go ahead on the sewing machine because this is the right side right i ironed it fold it this way close up this side close up this side and then sew it just fold this end and then attach it to the neck of the shirt how I did this is just the same way I measured round the neck of the collar. All, all you have to do is get a rectangular fabric. I'm going to cheat this out just to show you guys. So get a rectangular fabric, right? This way. And then maybe you want to use, uh, let's say you want to use three inches to be the total neck of the collar. Remember, this is not going to have a collar stand. So let's say, so let's, what you're going to do is make sure that they, if you open up the fabric this way, opened up is like the, um, it's going to be on fold right so you use let's say you want three inches to be the the when you're done you want three inches folded so what you're going to do is to make it um about seven inches so that you have half an inch to to be able to tuck the sleeve into the main shirt 
so you have about let's say you have about seven inches when when you're cutting out so you're going to cut out the width is going to be seven inches and then the length let's say your neck collar is uh is uh round your neck is about 10 inches you're going to add so let's say round your neck is 10 inches right so now we folded it 10 inches um, divided by two is 10 is is five sorry and then that five you're going to add extra two inches to it so that two inches you added is for you to be able to mark the angle that same angle that we marked on the other one this is the second method of making the color i normally use this like when i'm making a kid's shirt and i don't feel like making the stand and making the color or when i'm making like a shirt dress i just use this one for it so all you have to do now is mark that extra two inches to it and then you're going to angle it to the end right you're going to angle it to this end and then you're going to chip this out here so you see you're going to chip this off and then what you have to do now is to go to the sewing machine fold it this way like i explained before close this end up and then close this other end up and when you're done you flip it out and then just start from one end of your collar tuck this in here and just start tuck it in on this side tuck it in on this side and then Take the let's say this is the shirt you're attaching it to the neck around the neck of the shirt you're attaching it to. You're just going to fix this inside it and then keep sewing all the way around to the other side of the neck of the shirt. So that's basically how I do it using this particular method. So that's it for that. And then when you're done, you go ahead and iron it. And once you iron it, it stands. It doesn't even it stands the same way this one will stand. It stands. So that is basically, thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, share and subscribe. Bye.